Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to do an unboxing and quick uh, first impressions of a notebook, a journal notebook. I was contacted by Baron Fick, and some of you might know this company. I myself, to be honest, have heard of them, but I'm not really aware of them. I've not, I don't think I've ever seen them in uh, Japan. So when they contacted me, they um, they reached out and they, they said uh, they have this notebook called the Confidant and wanted to see if I would review it for them. So let's see. So there's three different sizes if you go to the website. Of course, I will leave all the information down below. Oh, this is really nice. So it's actually in a box, which is a really nice touch. So like I said, it has, uh, there's two main colors. There's the gray and the charcoal. This is in the charcoal, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And there's also uh, lined or ruled. There's dot and I think there's grid as well. So there's also three uh, different uh, paper, paper types as well. I really like, like this box though. It's a really nice touch. This is really nice. I like the box. So let's see what it says here. The confidant. It's your best friend, your right hand man or woman, the yin to your yang. This is the book that's small enough to go everywhere you go and big enough to work with all day long. Big enough to work with all day long, whether at home, work, or in transit. So these are the features of the confidant notebook. It opens flat. Like I said, there's blank ruled or dot grid. The dimensions are, it says, with intelligent adjustments to the size, you can use one page uh, with more breathable and usable space than other notebooks. Uh, quality lasting paper, which I will test, uh, 12 perforated pages, which is really neat. And if you buy a book, for every confidant you buy, we plant a tree. We're committed to responsibility, uh, leaving the earth better, better than we found it. That's really cool. So this notebook is in the flagship size, which is 5.4 inches by 7.7 .7 inches, 192 pages, and it's in the dot grid. Let's open it up and see. And we'll do a pen test as well. Oh, that's really nice. I guess there's uh, more information here. And I was checking their website. You can actually do a subscription as well. So if you want to save a little bit more money, um, if you and you can do the frequency of subscription yourself, you can choose it. Um, you can do every month or you know less than that. <clears throat> so that's really nice. Oh, so this is the charcoal. I, my image was that it would be a little bit darker, but this is really nice. Uh, it's not coming that true to color on camera. I feel like it's a little bit darker on camera, but in real life, it's like an elephant gray. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm trying to see if I can compare it to something. Obviously, it won't really... You can't really... Hmm. I don't really have anything else that's gray around here, but I feel like it's more lighter than what I see on camera. And so they have a notebook there. Let's open it up and see. Oh, it's really nice. It does open flat. So once you open it here, it's a hard cover. You have this uh, title page. It's hard, like it's, you can hear the weight and paper there. It's like a cardstock. And then you have the dot grid here really nice i don't know how the paper is going to be so let's do a pen test in the back so in the back it just says baron fig here and the information let's try a pen test i will do it over here i'm just going to grab a whole bunch of pens that i have uh, over here uh so
So here is the back of the page and you can see there's no bleeding. Of course there's going to be bleeding with the Copic marker but um, even with the watercolor it doesn't bleed at all. There's slight ghosting but that's totally okay and normal. Uh, the page isn't like super thick or anything so there might be a little bit of uh, like shadowing but it's really not that bad. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see there that these pages are perforated in the back. So I think it said the last 12 pages are perforated. So if you needed to write a note uh, to somebody and you needed to give it to them, uh, you can definitely use the back pages, which is nice and handy. But yeah, I really like notebooks that you can open flat and journal in. Uh, and you can see here the contrasting color bookmark. I really, really like um, the yellow and the gray together. It's a really nice combination. Actually, it reminds me, it's really similar to this Hobonichi Techo uh, Jetstream pen. But anyways, if you have a specific pen in mind that you want me to test out and I have it, then just leave a comment down below and I will let you know. But overall, first impressions, really nice. I love the packaging and the presentation of it. I just noticed uh, while I was doing this pen test that on the side here, it says to define is to limit. Oscar Wilde. It's just, oh, there's one on here too. It's easy to make things more complex. The challenge is in making things simple. This box protects your book as it travels to you. The day is today. Just like little touches like that. That's really nice. I really like this box. I know it's kind of like extra packaging, but um, you can definitely store the notebook in here once you're finished. Like the presentation is really, really nice. So I believe. Uh, the information down below if you want to learn more about uh, Baron Fig and the Confidant notebook. But yeah, like I said, really impressed with it and excited to start using this. So my apologies as the end part, the review part got cut off and I seem to have lost the footage of it. So I'm just refilming this on a different day. Uh, but just to show you, I started using it. I'm going to think about... Uh, participating in the Rock Your Handwriting Challenge. Uh, this is the September one. But I decided to write out the prompts. I used uh, different types of pens to see if it would bleed through, and of course it did not. I love the fact that the grid dots are not too dark, uh, but they're dark enough. And they're spaced uh, nice. They're spaced nicely. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe about five millimeters, four to five looks like five millimeters um, and yes I, I sometimes it pull it puts me off it's just my opinion but for me um, when the dot grid or like the dots are too dark it makes it a little bit difficult for me to use the notebook I'm not too sure why um, but I do love the fact that the dots here are a nice soft gray color and it's not too dark so once again this is the Baron Fig confidant in the flagship size 192 pages I've <laughs> used it on my uh, table here and I got a little bit of um, a blemish there but that's okay I don't know if I mentioned earlier but the cover is it feels like it's covered in like um, some kind of a linen I don't know if that's gonna pick up properly but it's you can see there so I guess um, maybe you can have like if you're bothered by little blemishes like this, you can spray it ahead of time. But it's a nice, sturdy, hardcover uh, notebook, and I'm excited to try this out. I, if I was into into the full-on bullet journaling, I think I would really love this notebook. I think it's a nice change from the moleskin and the Leuchtturm that I see a lot online. This was in comparable in price to the moleskin. This is eighteen dollars USD. Uh, I'm located in Japan, so I don't know where you are, but it is comparable to the Moleskine. The Leuchtturm was probably double the price uh, where I am, so this is definitely a nice alternative if you want to switch things up from the Moleskine. Anyways, <laughs> I do love the fact that uh, it is a nice, simple notebook, and you can choose the different types of paper as well. So if you're not into the dot, there is the lined or ruled and the blank. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, first impressions, and a really quick review of the Baron Fig Confidant uh, flagship notebook. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.